Good morning, folks. Or evening. Uh, it's Joel, the skinny guy in Kentucky again, with another video. This time we're going to talk about uh, how to start an engine with a pulley-style starter on the front. This is the old-fashioned starter rope system where you actually have a separate rope and there's a pulley on the front of the engine. So this system was uh, pretty common on a lot of your earlier Italian engines. This is an old Lombardini diesel. Um, which from the 1980s. They use the rope starters up through the 1980s in some models. Uh, this is a 14 horse, and it's about the most challenging engine I could think of to start, so we're gonna start this one. Uh, but you also see this, starter, this type of starting system on the early Acme engines, both gas and diesel, and some of your old American-made engines like Clinton's and so forth. So, uh, just a quick rundown on how the starting, uh, kind of the thought that goes into the starting process. On a modern engine that you would buy today, a brand new one with a with a rewind starter on it, like the rope, you know, the kind that spring loaded, you know, sucks the rope back in so you don't have to wind it on every time, or recoil starter, rewind starter. All those engines with rewind starters on them have an automatic decompression. That is, there's a compression release in the engine, usually on the on the camshaft, that actually opens a, a, one of the valves just a little bit during cranking of the engine to relieve some of the compression. This is so when you grab the rope and go to pull the engine, the engine doesn't like kick back and try to break your arm. Uh, the compression release is set up so that once the, uh, once the engine comes up to operating speed, it actually disengages itself. So it's not interfering with the power of the engine. Well, that's the uh, decompression is, uh, is, is essential for starting the engine with a recoil starter because you cannot get to the flywheel of the engine when there's a recoil starter on the front uh, to turn the engine backwards. That's what you have to do with, a, with one of these rope start engines is you have, to, you have to actually crank it backwards before you crank it forwards. What we want to do is get as far away from compression as we can. All right, so because there is no compression release in any engine with a pulley start. So I'm rolling the engine back until I hit the back side of compression. You hit that kind of hard spot where the engine won't turn anymore, that's compression. All these engines want to turn clockwise. Any modern engine is a clockwise rotation engine. So this is the way the engine normally goes. We want to back it up counterclockwise until we hit the hard spot. That's the back of compression. Now, when I wrap the rope on here clockwise and go to crank the engine, I have one and a half revolutions of free play, that is free movement, before I hit the front side of compression. In that one and a half turns, I'm going to build up a bunch of inertia in the flywheel, the big cast iron flywheel inside the engine, and that flywheel inertia is going to help me start this engine. So, there I am. I wrapped it on there twice around the pulley. This is kind of an oversized rope, but it fits the pulley you know, somewhat well. Get it on there. I want it to kick off. Make sure my switch is on here. Bars, safety switch is locked down. Give it some gas. And so that's that works as you can see. Uh, you have to rip, you know, you have to haul off and give it a good tug, especially on an engine this size. I mean, this thing is a 510cc diesel, so I had to put some effort into it. Now, if I wanted to start it again, I would do the same process. Roll it back until I hit the back side of compression, wrap your rope forward, and haul off. Now, there's another method uh, that can be used on diesel engines. It's called the bounce method, and we're going to walk over that a little bit, too. Again, let me get some gas here. <clears throat> this is an interesting method. For this one, you don't necessarily start far away from compression. In fact, you start just about up to compression. This is, this is kind of interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the rope on here just once. And I'm going to start pulling the engine and I'm going to bounce it. It's going to come up against compression and it's going to bounce back. And I'm going to kind of bounce it a few times. and. You can only do this on diesels. Gas don't have enough compression to do this. But if you, you get it bouncing back and forth until it winds the rope back up enough that it's actually hitting the back side of the compression beforehand. Okay, so... Oh, 
Darn. Ah, well, we'll wind it up again. Ah, shoot. My rope jumped the pulley. Let's try this again. You saw what I was doing there. I shouldn't have slowed down. Ah, I'm in the wrong rotation here. Oh, yeah. I'm get in this rotation. Let's see. I'm all confused now. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh! I didn't bounce it hard enough. <laughs> I've got to wait for it to bounce all the way back. It's a, it's a technique. You have to get used to it. And I'm, I've only started this engine a few times in the past, so I'm not sure exactly where it needs to be in the rotation. But we had a, I grew up with a 10 horsepower diesel uh, Lombardini, and I used to be real good at starting that one. I'd throw that rope on there and just bounce it about eight times. Very little effort needed, and when you start bouncing off of the back side of the, the other compression, you use that bounce to help you with the outward stroke. It's kind of neat. Of course, the <laughs> I have seen that one go wrong. Uh, if you really get to bouncing it hard, you can actually bounce it so hard backwards that the engine goes over that compression and the engine will start backwards because diesel engines will run backwards. You better let go of the rope in a hurry because it'll suck you right in. <laughs> so, but the, the tried and true method is back it off manually, wrap the rope around the pulley and pull it. Thanks for watching.